Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And tonight we have 40K orders here on the Twitch bridge. And huge shout out to Greg's Lounge for redeeming the orders. And tonight we will be flying the D-Skull, the Dino Skull. I mean, the Obelisk Carrier. Captains, I've had this ship since it was a reward for a featured episode, I believe it was Sphere of Influence. And not gonna lie, I haven't flown it in years. So the orders are to go into any carrier. There were two choices. It was between this and the Jirok. Those are the only two that I have in terms of carriers. And I picked the Dino Skull. Because to me, it looks like a dino skull. So here's the skull, top portion. Here's the lower jaw and the teeth. Anyone? No? Just me? Anyways. And it was just to pick the ship, use it, and see how it does. So what we're going to do is go over the build. Weapons, consoles, traits, stations, DOFs, and then take it into Elite Argala and see how it does. Now... It's very limited in station, so this is what we did. Can you captain's guess? So, called it a D-Skull. <clears throat> Again, I am not, not the most best captain in naming my ships. But it is the Obelisk Carrier. Now, one thing I will say before we go on. Using this in the featured episode, Sphere of Influence, was awesome because... Was it Sphere of Influence? I think it was. It was one of those... Dyson arc episodes and this was one of the rewards there was something that I wish they would have sort of rewarded alongside with the ship was which was powers that you could use from Worf Shown and I believe oh what's her name the Klingon captain from the board SQ I'll think of it later but they had their own special powers and it was like combined powers and I really really wish and that's what made this episode fun all those years ago when they released it but still haven't put that in the game and I think Cryptic is leaving money on the table I'm just saying you would put that in C store I'd buy it anyways here we go four weapons is what we went with Geo torpedo build surprise surprise uh, so the gravimetric photon torpedo captains you know I love this torpedo this is from the Dyson rep so why not the Neutronic Torpedo Launcher, this is from your Delta Rep. And of course, the Dark Matter Quantum Torpedo, this is from your Discovery Rep. Nothing too different with our Space Set, Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter Deflector from your Fleet Colony. The Prevailing Innovative Impulse Engines from your Competition Rep. Of course, we have the Mycelial Harmonic Matter Antimatter Core and Philly's Review Pending Modified Shield from the Discovery Rep. After weapons, we went with the Thoron Infuse Quantum Mine Launcher, which is from your Delta Rep Dilithium Store. The Elite Fleet Genor Tricobalt Launcher, which is from your Fleet Colony. And the Modulating Competition Mine, which is from your Competition Rep. Devices here, we have just some Torp Candy for our 30% bonus projectile damage for 20 seconds. Kobayashi Mar Transponder for all its buff goodness. Temporal Negotiator to help with our cooldowns. And Subspace Field Modulator to help us with some damage resistance. Consoles. What we ended up doing, Bioneural Infusion Circuits from your low buy store. Ferrofluid Hydraulic Assembly from your Terran Rep. The Ordnance Accelerator from your Gamma Rep. Emulating Phaser Lance, so we're going to have a pew-pew of a lance here, why not? Which is from your Deimos Pilot Destroyer. Love this thing. does give Phaser damage, but we're going to be using it for the Shield Pen and help us with one of our traits to Universal Designs. Going to be using the Point Defense Bombardment Warhead from the NX. For the projectile damage, 25%. 1% critical chance and pairing up of course with the DPRM or the dynamic power redistributing module. This comes from your prototype dreadnought cruiser, the Atlas. Lockbox ship. Now, of course, these two paired, it does give us 33% percent 
directed energy damage, but that's okay. We're just using it for all its oh crap goodness. Because for 20 seconds, there's plus 40% bonus damage, 100 bonus damage resistance rating, and 500% hull region. So the next one here is the Tri Cobalt Tear Launcher from your Tier 6 Steam Runner or Appalachia Blockade Runner. Great, great console, and it looks pretty. Sounds good too. 15.3% mine and torpedo damage. And of course, gives a little bit of shield pen, 38.1. Did I say it looks pretty? Yes, it looks pretty. Opening salvo from the Tier 6 Titan Captains. You know I love this one. It strips shields, and I love it. Also improves our critical hit chance, 17.2 starship weapon specialization. And we are going to be using the multi-directional artillery barrage. This comes from the Lexington, the Smexy Lexi, which is from the 12th anniversary bundle. Great, great ship, and we thought we would use it. 16.1 all damage with projectile weapons. Gives us a little bit of maximum hull capacity, and when we use this, launches warheads in all directions, dealing 9,261.4 kinetic damage to foes. 25% bonus damage per arc with foes, plus 10% additional bonus damage per affected foe. Hopefully, we can sort of get in the middle of him and fire this, but it looks pretty. So you can tell, Caps, I put like, this is going to be a torpedo platform, kind of similar to what we did with the Jirok. But the reason why we're using this is because I have a lot of traits that can boost torpedo damage and Captains, you know, I love my torps. I love my torps. For the hangar pets, we are going to be using the pets that came with them, the Advanced Obelisk Swarmers. This is actually, you can get this from the episode two as well. Stat-wise, this gives us crit chance 30%, 30.5%, and severity of 172.5%. Now, Captains, remember, I do have my Pendevers ranked all the way to 600, so we have that helping us as well. Skills, nothing different. Intel, primary, temp, secondary. Traits. We went with a good day to die, superior projectile training, hot pursuit, into the breach, kinetic precision, resonating payload modification, unconventional systems, Terran targeting systems, intelligent agent attache, and the Boindler effect. All right, so what we do with our Starship traits. Universal designs. We love that one. Ceaseless Momentum. We're going to be using Rapid Emitting Armaments, so hopefully I don't re-myself. Hopefully I don't re-myself. I probably will re-myself. But we're pairing this also with one of my other favorite traits, Carrier Wave Shield Hacking. So when we use Tractor Beam, not only will we be spitting out Purple Torp, goodness, we'll also be taking their shields down for five seconds with bonus. A bonus of 30% kinetic damage with tractor. Not bonus per damage, but a bonus. That makes sense? Sure. Does to me in my head. And we're gonna use superior air denial for our pets. When activating fire at will or scatter volley, grant fire at will or scatter volley to one of your hangar pets. Now, I just realized I made a poo poo. I made a poo poo. I may not be able to use this one. Or I can do this. Let's do this. We're not gonna use carrier wave shield hacking. We're going to have to use ETM for the Torp spread so that we can use SAD. Sometimes these things happen. And it's good. You can change your build just like that. Kabam. We're going to use Entwined Tickle Matrices instead of that Carrier Wave Shield hacking. We're still going to take their shields off with Opening Salvo. So that still works, in my opinion. Space Rep Precision. Advanced targeting systems, Omega kinetic shearing, torpedo pre-fire sequence, and Tyler's duality. And then active space rep, we just have our anti-time entanglement singularity, biomolecular shield generator, force challenge, so quantum singularity manipulation, and refactoring Tetrion cascade. Stations this is what we got. Left to right, top to bottom, chemocyte lace weaponry. Here's the fire at will for the ETM so we can fire torp spread. And dispersal pattern beta one for mines. 
where we're gonna try to do mine torp combo damage along with the consoles that shoot out torpedo goodness. Emergency powered engines, emit unstable warp bubble, eject warp plasma, reverse shield polarity. I've always loved this power just because we heard it in the show, so I do actually love it. Endothermic inhibitor beam and structural integrity collapse. And for our psi, tractor beam, scramble sensors, and photonic shockwave. So this actually has five uncon procs. So we should be good with our powers. Not that there's a lot of it, but there is that. Now let's go to our dops. We'll go to our dops. Still have the two on ground helping us in space. Neil Falconer for the increased damage versus the Borg when we go visit the Borg. Elder Malikatan for the increased damage versus all. So that's awesome. And then for our space dops here, we got Immersi Khan. Recharges evasive maneuvers when Immersi Powered Engines is activated. Give us a little bit of speed here. This thing is pretty chonky. It's a brick. Let's just call it what it is. It's a brick. Three projectile weapons officers, one of which will give us a chance to reduce the time to recharge mines. Two are going to give us a chance to stack crit severity when we fire projectiles. And we're firing projectiles. Zelyrene for the increased damage versus Zberg. And just because Brad Boimler. I really had nothing else to be honest with you. But toxic clouds from torpedoes. Who doesn't like toxic clouds from torpedoes? Okay. So that's the build caps. Again, this is a ship I have not used in a good hot minute. She's a brick. So I think I'm going to have trouble <laughs> turning with this. But hopefully with the comp engines nowadays, with the evasive maneuver off, all that we should be okay. Now we're going to try again to help our pets do all the damage. We're going to lay back here, launch them, and then support them and see what damage they do. Uh, shout out to my captains here. We have Anthony Taylor in his Sovereign. Shout out to you, my cap. But here we go. We'll take it to Elite Argala and see how it does. Captains, Captain Picard and Riker took over the ship. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay? Just saying. You all know already why. Ensign, take us out of here. Maximum warp. Mm. Aye, sir. Engage. Like, move that chunky ship. Again, this is a ship that I have not used in a long while. Tactical alert. Vessel approaching, bearing 184, Mark 7. And she takes up a lot of the screen. All right, so let's launch our pets. All hands. Battle stations. Ooh. All right. Weapons hot, deflectors to full. We need to make sure we're steadily in place before we hit that plasma. To Ooh! Come on, pets. Got him. Get him. Yes! And there you go. First group done. Perfect. We're going to save our major boss for the second group. Again, try to keep our distance so we don't hurt ourselves too much. You have entered an Looks like our fight got them to All know. All right. Us. Shields up here just in case. Bye bye. Ooh. Well, certainly performing pretty well. Pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Reverse. There we go. Distribute our shields because we're taking blood of it. There you go. Our pets are doing some damage, I think. Hopefully. Here, have some mines. Have some mines. Torps. Oh, look at that. The torps are fine from the side. I forgot about that. Look at that. Pretty unique. There you go. 
Position ourselves here to the next group. Slow down. Use those. Look at those torps. Woo! It is so pretty. <laughs> it kind of just goes on any side. But I think she's performing pretty well. Hard to stop there though, but here, have some, have some torps. Kabam. Bye. We do what we want, where we want. Oh really? Here have some mines. Slow down. I really I want to be cognizant. I don't want to read myself. I really don't want to do that. Right now, no! Get away from me. Hmm, there you go. See if I would have hit, <laughs> I would have hit re there, I would have read myself. Definitely would have read myself. Let's do this here. Let's go here and then firing arc. Go. Woohoo! Get rid of this one. This one is pretty stubborn, this cruiser. Reset our evasive maneuvers. Move around. Ooh, see, I love the sound of that Tricobal Tear Launcher. Here, get your shields off. No shields for you. See, having the wave carrier shield hack would have just been a bonus. Uh, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing okay. Oh, wow. Last group already? Okay. Alright, let's take you out then. Okay, sir. Oh, let's put that on. Just in case. Go die, sir. Ooh, look at that. All of them torps. Love it. Have some mines, have some re. Have some Troy Cobalt. Hmm. So there you go. Work on these last ones. Move. Oh. Take our opening salvo. Oh my gosh. Not gonna lie. There was some clenching there, Captains. I think I, I think I hit myself with my grav torp. <laughs> being worried about, excuse me, sir. Being worried about the re. I forgot about my grav torp, but I shouldn't have been because I don't have high yield. Anyways, let's go over here. Captains are gonna go take our, our shelfies. If you don't know what that is, those are our ship selfies. Let's see how she drifts in place. Oof. Compenge. There you go. All right, let's find an angle here for the Dino Skull. Uh, sure. So there it is. It it did pretty well. This is the what a tier five ship, and it still does pretty well. Again, captains, I just do these for fun. They're not to be taken seriously. That is all we do here on the Twitch Bridge. Is just have fun. That is how I play. Because if I'm not having fun, then I'm not really playing a game. So, shout out to Greg for redeeming the orders. Thank you, sir. I will say that that was quite fun. A little hard to move. She is just as hard to move now then, but we do have a lot of things to help compensate that nowadays, like the competition engines. But she did pretty well, in my opinion. She did pretty well. I think this is the first time or second time I use Superior Air Denial. So that probably was helping out there. But regardless, it was just fun to fly. It was something new to try. And again, these orders take me out of my comfort zone. And it just gives me to try out ships that 
I don't necessarily fly a lot, which is carriers, and or go back to ships that I don't even fly a lot of, which is here, the Dynasty Call. So there it is, Captains. I invite you to the Twitch bridge here where we do our nightly Pew Pew shenanigans. Like the video, leave your comments below, subscribe, help us to reach out to more Captains, but we will leave it on this note. Don't let them promote you. Don't let them transfer you. Don't let them do anything that takes you off the bridge of that ship because while you're there, you can make a difference.